Hello there. I'm Dr. Petrache, diabetologist. Today, I will talk about an extremely important topic, namely first aid in hypoglycemic coma. Every cell in the body needs glucose as the main energy source. People with diabetes have difficulty processing and efficiently metabolizing glucose because the pancreas either produces too little insulin or does not produce insulin at all. Whatever the deficiency, glucose can build up in the body and reach a life-threatening level. A healthy pancreas regulates insulin production in proportion to the amount of glucose in the blood. Let's resume the types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that appears in children and young adults. In this case, insulin production is zero and the necessary treatment is based on insulin injections. Without insulin injections, people with type 1 diabetes can't use their blood glucose for energy. In type 2 diabetes, there are either that there are either no not enough amounts of insulin produced or insulin can't perform its act, this task efficiently due to insulin resistance. Usually type 2 diabetes appears la later in life. Some people with type 2 diabetes use diet and exercise to control their blood sugar, while others use medication. Sometimes people with type 2 diabetes may need insulin treatment. What are the, the emergencies in diabetes? There are two major types of emergencies in diabetes, those caused by hypoglycemia and those caused by hyperglycemia. Today I will talk about hypoglycemia and in my next tutorial I will talk about first aid in hyperglycemic coma. Hypoglycemia appears more rapidly than hyperglycemia. Hypoglycemia means blood sugar below 70 mg per deciliter. When the brain doesn't receive the glucose it needs so much, you can lose consciousness, but also you can die. What causes hypoglycemia? Among the causes of hypoglycemia I mention too high doses of oral or injectable anti-diabetic medication, lack of nutrition, increased level of uncompensated physical activity, but also increased energy consumption by exposure to low temperature or fatigue. What are the symptoms of hypoglycemia? Symptoms of hypoglycemia may vary from person to person, but the most common signs are pale skin, rapid breath, breathing, tachycardia or rap rapid heartbeat, weakness, headache, confusion, excessive hunger, profuse sweating and chills. It is good for those around you to know that you have diabetes. It is also good to wear a bracelet that announces the condition you are suffering from. If the person you see is unknown but is conscious after calling your emergency number, it is good to ask the following questions. Did you eat? If so, what did you eat? Did you do intense exercise? What medications do you take for diabetes? If the answer is insulin, ask what the last dose was and remember to tell it to the emergency crew. Did you take a new medicine? Do you have a glucometer? Generally, people with diabetes have a glucometer. With the help of the meter, you can find out the blood sugar of the person in front of you. Also, most of the time diabet diabetics have a sweet snack, which can save their life. If the person in front of you has a sweet snack, help them eat it. Depending on the answers to the previous questions, 
you can be guided by the type of emergency you have in front of you. If the person in front of you ate but did not take their medication, they most likely suffer from hyperglycemia. If the person in front of you didn't eat but took their anti-diabetic medication, it is most likely that they suffer from hypoglycemia. The body consumes energy constantly, which means that in theory people are more exposed to hypoglycemia. People with undetected diabetes are more prone to hyperglycemia, precisely because they do not follow any treatment. The prognosis of hypoglycemia depends on the cause, severity and duration of the hypoglycemic episode. The prognosis is excellent if it is identified and treated immediately. If left untreated, hypoglycemia leads to seizures and loss of consciousness. If the person is conscious, give them sugar. Do not give unconscious people food, liquids, also don't put your hand in their mouth. There are two ways to act in case of hypo hypoglycemia, which differ depending on the state of consciousness of the person in front of you. Here are the steps you need to take if the person in front of you suffers from hypoglycemic coma but is conscious. First of all, do not give them insulin. Insulin lowers blood sugar and their problem is the significant decrease in blood sugar. Treatment for hypoglycemia is not insulin. Give them 15-20 grams of simple carbs such as sugar or glucose. If they don't have glucose on them, buy them candy, give them 3 squares of chocolate, a glass of juice, an apple and a slice of bread. If you can, test their blood sugar again in 15 minutes. You can easily remember the rule of 15, 15 grams of carbs and retest blood sugar in 15 minutes. If after 15 minutes blood sugar is still below 70 mg per deciliter, repeat the previous step with 50 grams of carbs. Once blood sugar is normal, help the person in front of you eat a snack. Here are some examples of 15 grams of sugar. Tablets or gel with glucose, a tablespoon of sugar or honey, two tablespoons of raisins, candy, sugar, gum, jellies, half a cup of sugar juice. Some people with diabetes may have glucagon with them. Glucagon is a hormone that causes the liver to release stored glucose when blood sugar is too low. If you plan on using glucagon, follow the instructions on the package. Recently, glucagon is available as nasal spray, which is easier to use. If the person in front of you suffers from hypoglycemia and is unconscious, do not feed them. Call your emergency number. Until the emergency crew arrives, look for glucagon and use it as written on the package or if you have a pharmacy nearby, buy intranasal glucagon and administer it. That's about it for today. I'm Dr. Petrake and until next time, take care of your body and soul.